Thank you, Elliot. Now, we're all looking to save some money right now, but still enjoy a good meal out now and then. Now, one thing you might think is especially tough to find is great seafood for under $10. But CBS4's Lisa Petrillo shows us where you can catch a tasty bargain in tonight's Cheap Eats. We begin our quest for great seafood spots on the Miami River in a family-owned and operated restaurant called Garcia's Seafood Grill and Fish Market. This charming two-story eatery was first purchased some 40 years ago by Esteban Garcia, who turned a former gas station into what is now a favorite lunch and dinner spot for locals and tourists alike. Since Esteban's death a few years back, the restaurant and market are now run by his two sons. Luis tells me it wasn't always easy. We struggled for many, many years, and um, we just had, you know, we just stayed at it, and just kind of. Uh, pushed through, we kind of willed it to happen. Memories of their father fill the walls of Garcia's. The Cuban tile floor is from their father's home in Cuba. And even though Garcia's features pricier items on the menu, it maintains many selections under $10, like this delicious ceviche I'm tasting and the melt-in-your-mouth dolphin sandwich. My father always used to stress to us, uh, and he didn't use this word, um, but he stressed, you always have to stay recession-proof. And he used to tell us, you got to have the dolphin sandwich. you got to have the grouper sandwich. you got to have the $10 and under plate. And that's a very important person. Heading north to Fort Lauderdale on the Seminole River lies a local favorite known as the Southport Raw Bar, where an ice-cold beer is not measured by what time of day it is. Owner Buddy Sherman worked as a busboy here back in 1979 and purchased the restaurant with a friend 10 years later. This is a, your typical local neighborhood eatery, seafood place that's been here where we've had generations of people coming through here. Um, the greatest thing to hear is you know, someone coming in here saying, my father bought me in here and now I'm bringing my kids here. Here you can't beat the fresh and delicious New England clam chowder. The steamed peel and eat Old Bay shrimp will leave you sloppy and satisfied, all under 10 bucks. You can't put a price tag on having people come back and going like, I'm so glad you guys are still here and you haven't changed. Drive just a bit south off Federal Highway in Fort Lauderdale and you'll find the quintessential seafood dive known as Tarks. It's here where the oysters are shucked fresh daily, the beer battered fish melts in your mouth, and the conch salad tastes like you've just grabbed it off the ocean floor. Tarks are really good conchs. It's a clam stand. We originated up in Buffalo, like I said, but it's a northeastern type of clam stand. Loyal customers have been coming back for decades? Oh, forever. We have on our frequent Tarks Club over 2,500 members that come in at least once a month. Well, you might not expect to catch some great seafood in the middle of Southwest A Street, but that's exactly what you'll find at the Bahamas Fish and Seafood Market. Not too many speak English here, but the tasty fresh food needs no translation. I ordered the snapper filet and creole sauce and got a heaping order of rice and sweet potato plantains on the side. Delicious. So the, all this comes together all under $7.99. Yeah. $7.99. That's a lot of food. Cheap eats best seafood. Mm. Yummy, yummy. Mm. We reeled in quite a few catches. <laughs> yes, it's been yeah. tough to keep my girlish figure. Is that belt in yeah. there? <laughs> As you can see, I've been on an enthusiastic search for more great places for cheap eats, all type of cheap eats. So remember, send us your suggestions, and we'll give you the ones you just saw now to CBS Sport. Dot com slash food. Seven ninety five. That was a lot stuff. of food. Wow. Ton That's of great. food. We're keeping the segment going, but about every two weeks in our show here, and um, I'm I'm there for you. <laughs> thank I'm you, Lisa. Extra walk around the block, I'll tell you that. We're depending on you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Nice. <laughs> well, Antonio and I are heading out to work in our six o'clock news. We might have to grab a snack too. Yeah, after we do. We're hungry that. now. Yeah.